Hey guys, I had a lot of people online ask me about my N1 build, so today I'm going to go over some of the parts I used. I'm not going to rebuild the whole thing, I'll just list some parts I used. Um, first things first, I would recommend to get one of these ship builders on your outpost. Yeah, it makes things a lot easier since you can reuse parts you unlocked. Alright, the top end of the build. Alright, here we go. So, first things first, this is not of course the best ship you can make I don't have all the parts unlocked with the skill tree yet so I just kinda put together what I thought looked alright so engines I just kinda put the most circular engines I could find which happened to be the Nova 1000s and then I just put on the front whatever I thought looked good I tried to match whatever I could find with the circular exhaust or I guess intake but I could not really find anything that looked super good. Um, the Stroud Eklund bracers are really nice. Let's put some of those in there. I did put some guns on here as well. This part, the shield, actually looked just like how it looks like on the official one. So I was kind of impressed how the shield generator was able to fit right there and how nice it looks. I decided to put my reactor in here. You can use whatever reactor. I just thought it looked kind of cool to be right in the center, kind of like an engine. Um, onto the holes, I just kind of put a bunch of one by ones together. Now, of course, you could put you know two by one or I think even a three by one in here, but it's really up to you. I thought this Docker looked really good here because it was kind of like a droid port. Or not droid port. It was kind of like where Grovy sits in at least Mando's N1. <laughs> so I thought that was I thought that was kind of cool. Um, the tail was a little bit difficult. I just put the tail module and then some spines together. That was the closest I could get to how it looked. And then I did put this apt part right here. Regarding the landing gears and everything, you're required to have them, of course. So I just kind of threw them on the bottom. Um, and uh, you need a landing bay as well. Like I couldn't put that there. I, mean, I guess I could, but I think it was kind of weird how it blocks the bay. So I put that there. I put this Hope Tech part here just to make it look a little bit nicer. And then this was the roundest part I could find to put at the beginning. Um, I just put some wings on the side as well to try to let it, you know, look a little nicer together, let it run nicer. But yeah, other than just putting a grab drive in the back and some side caps to make it look a little nicer, I did put some cargo holds here to make it also look kind of cool and add some cargo. I did put some tanks here. I don't think you really need them unless you're going to jump really far. I think it looks a little bit better without. But yeah, otherwise, I mean, that's pretty much it. It's not a hard build. I'll put the, the names in the description, but I did put some guns here. You can look. I thought they looked as nice as I could to, from where they went. I wish I could put these guns on the bottom, but it wouldn't let me. I only could put it on top. But anyway, it's not a lot. Um, this is max length, though, just so you know. You can't go any further than this. I was trying to make the engines a little bit bigger but I couldn't go any further. But yeah, that's it. Um, I'll post some parts in the description, but thanks for watching.